The starter rope is used to start your gas power tool. The rope is wrapped around the starter pulley. When it is pulled, the pulley rotates, starting the engine. Over time, the rope will wear and fatigue, eventually snapping in two. Aggressively pulling the starter rope will cause it to fail much faster. Replacing the rope is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Mark Soja. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless drills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing the starter assembly from the housing. Now I need to remove the tension from the spring. To do that, I'll untie the knot that holds the starter handle in place. With the knot untied, I'll go ahead and remove the handle and allow the rope to recoil back into the starter. Next, I'll remove the screw that holds the starter pulley together. Now I can remove the hub and the pulley. I'll be careful as I remove the pulley from the housing so I don't bring the spring with it. And now I can remove the rope from the pulley. Take note how the rope wraps around the inside of the pulley. Now I can install the new starter rope. To install the new rope, first I'll tie a knot in one end. And I'll leave a short tag end sticking out. Now I'll install the rope onto the pulley. To install the rope, I'll line the knotted end near the opening where the starter rope will pass through the pulley. Now work the rope back counterclockwise through each of the slots and holders in the pulley. Then I'll pass the rope through the opening in the pulley and now I'll pull the rope tight around the center hub. Now I'll install the pulley back into the housing and onto the spring. You'll notice there's a notch cut in the pulley and I need to align that with the knob on the end of the spring. Now I'll thread the rope through the opening in the housing. I'll go ahead and install the hub and secure everything with the screw. Next, I'll thread the rope back through the starter handle and knot it off on the end. You'll notice there's a couple of slots on either side of the pulley. I'll notch the rope into one of those slots and now rotate the pulley seven turns clockwise. As I do this, I'll make sure the rope stays in the notch and doesn't wind itself around the pulley. Now pull the rope through the housing removing it from the notch and I'll allow the rope to recoil back around the pulley. And I'll finish up by reinstalling the starter. And now you know how to replace the rope in your small engine. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment.